Jake Paul says he's moved on completely from Will Fury. Now that's relevant for me because now I can get back in, right? I'm out. I'm out. I didn't get my way. They didn't listen to me. I begged them. I told them. I warned them. I I did everything you could possibly do to make sure they didn't book Will Fury. Now, thank goodness. Thank the boxing and the combat gods that they only burned 48 hours of time. I mean, thank goodness that they did that. Imagine this was two weeks of time. But what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? I know a guy that sold out Madison Square Garden twice, and I guarantee goddamn T he'll show up. But they didn't call him. So what are, what are you going to do? Let's look at the likely suspects. I don't believe that Vitor Belfort is under contract. I know he's got that business with Triller. I don't believe Vitor's locked under Triller. I don't know that. I'm just throwing out a name that's available. You want to know who I heard from two days ago? This will surprise you that I heard from. You want to know who I heard from that will come out and do the match? Vandalay Silva. I don't know if that interests you. I'm sharing with you. I heard from Vandalay two days ago. Vandalay will come out and box with Jake Paul. Tyron Woodley. You guys all want to laugh at me. It's, it's happened twice. Tyron will go in and box him. I think. I haven't talked to Tyron, but we're looking for names. Iron Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson has said he'd do it. He said he'd do it as recently as a week ago. He said he would do it as recently as a week ago on Jimmy Kimmel's couch. You can't turn that down if you're a promoter. If you have an athlete that has access to Jimmy Kimmel's couch, to media light, you got to use him. Of course, Mike works. Mike works all day long. Now, I don't know how serious they are in looking at that. I know Mike said he wants to do it. He's going to do it this year. I'm bringing you guys yesterday's news, but I'm just trying to recap because we've only got a few guys that are out there. Now, we could go into the well. We could go dig up some boxer and try to convince you guys that he's relevant. Yeah, but Jake in a tough spot. Jake's not looking for some guy that was an alternate for the Olympic team. He's looking for a guy that's got a name. Jake's got distribution in the Mecca. By the way, $2 million to put up. He's looking for something. He's got the right to it. Sure he does. I'm sure there's other names. What I'm trying to do is get a dialogue going with you guys because this isn't happening. The boxing world is mum. Will Fury didn't pull anything that the rest of them didn't already pull. The only difference in Will is he said he would do it before he said he wouldn't do it. The other guys just said, I won't do it. Make no mistake. Do not get lost. I see you guys say, oh, Jake Paul needs to fight a boxer. He's trying to fight a boxer. Find him one. Find him a top 10 guy. There ain't a guy in the top 10 from 10 to 3 that's ever made a million dollars in a night. Jake's got two for you. So don't tell me that they don't qualify, that they don't get a... Everybody's looking for the biggest paycheck against the easiest opponent in front of the largest crowd. Everybody. Well, according to what you guys say about Jake, boom, you just found him. Why is nobody asking for this mesh? Nobody. I hear from Vandalay Silva, who doesn't even like me. Because he knew I could throw his name out there. That's what an MMI guy wants. That's what a real guy wants. One thing that our leadership in MMA has done, I hope that you guys never miss this because they deserve credit. They'll never get it. They'll never get it because they won't even want it to know it's out there. They have made losing acceptable. It is one thing that boxing has never achieved. None of them. Not Don King, not Aram, not Eddie. None of them. Not Oscar. You, you, you could go through. You lose three fights in boxing, you're never getting a main event. You're never getting a world title fight. You lose five fights, you'll be lucky to get a fight at all. You lose nine fights, you're bum. They might not even license you, let alone nobody ever want to see you fight. They didn't make it acceptable. Which is why you don't see guys competing. You don't have competitions. You don't have guys that are hungry. You, you just don't have these things. They don't know what to do. I don't know what in the hell difference it makes. You're sitting on $2 million. You're never going to make that boxing. None of you guys. And I, I was nice. I said any division, 10 through 3. There are not very many divisions out there that one and two are ever going to make $2 million. Accumulatively, I just wanted to be correct in a broad statement. So I said every single division, every organization of boxing, with every promoter that's got a guy under contract, 10 to 3, will never see $2 million. Jake Paul's got it for you right now. Not to mention he's got one hell of an audience. And you guys won't fight him. 
So what is he going to do? His options are limited. Hopefully they're talking nicely to Mike. I don't know if that's the kind of fight that Jake wants. I don't know. He seems very game to me. He doesn't ever seem to have a problem with it, but I'm not even sure that that has been, had feet put to fire. It's very different going on Jimmy Kimmel's couch 10 days ago and saying I'll fight Jake. But it's very different than coming out to the media, breaking into Sports Center, calling up Levitard, breaking into the Jim Rome show, and demanding now, what's your answer now? It's very different than going to social media in 160 characters or less, which is free and happens to be open 24 7 and saying, I'm your guy. Let's do the fight. None of them have done it. And even Mike has not done that. So who wants to fight Jake? That's all I'm trying to discuss with you. Who are the guys that we can turn to? I'm throwing Vandalay in. Boom, I know that one. What about Anderson? Where's Anderson at? Anderson's another one of that. That would be a great fight. People would love to come to that fight. Dana White has already helped that fight. Tremendously, Dana White's helped that fight. On accident. You guys remember the comments. But I don't see Anderson do it. It's just not the way Anderson does it. He's waiting for somebody to call him, and you're going to be polite. You're going to bow. You're going to do it. It's a fight business. Why? Why bother? We want it or not. If you want something, go fight for it. If you're willing to fight for something, let the world know. And I only bring this to you, not just to tease, but boxing deserves teasing. What, what a bunch of weirdos, man. I can't, I can't, I, just, I, I don't understand this. I, I do not understand this. Their fathers were not like mine. I'll tell you that right now. It's still one of these situations where my point isn't just to put them down. I want to build Jake. I want fair. I will never spare the lash over here. But we still want to do it fair. Still want to do it bias. I don't have a bigger enemy than John Jones. I would never discount the guy's fantastic. I mean, right and fair, you want to be fair. What more can Jake do than put you in a main event in the Mecca, make you a multi-millionaire in one night, and possibly you got to take an ass with it? It's not coming to kids. It's not going to junior highs. It's not starting a draft amongst wimps. He's coming to guys that are in the fight business. There's a damn good business to be done, but to hell if they'll do it if they got to fight. 